All right, so now that we know how to import our model, we're going to look at the rest of the building, which is the surrounding site and the hardscape, particularly the roads and the sidewalks. So I'm going to pull up what we have here, which is the site plan, which comes typically from the architect. And this is an architect's site plan of our building. It shows where we have the building, shows where we have some plantings, it shows where we have parking stripes, sidewalks, roads. You can model this in SketchUp. I prefer to do it in Max, and I'm going to go through that process in Max and show you why we do it in Max. So this is the site plan we're going to use. We're going to bring it into Max, and we'll start modeling our hardscape. So we also have, not only do we have this image, which came from a PDF, we also have CAD, which can be very helpful. So here's our hardscape in CAD format. And so CAD, much like SketchUp, you can just import it in and you can bring it straight in. I actually have one already in a max format. So I will bring that in. So if we go source and site plan, we will bring the site plan in, which is everything we have at this point. And then here, as I'm merging this in, it's telling me that I have an object with the same name. We're going to automatically rename it. So I'm checking this to apply to all duplicates. So if there are other objects that have the same name, it's going to rename them. So now you can see there's my site plan and all of my objects. And as you can see that things are starting to get very complex quickly. We have different objects. And so it's very important to start to stay organized with our layer manager. And so let's go ahead and open our layer manager. You can do that by scrolling over here. And where is my layers? So here's my layer explorer. If you click on layer explorer, it pulls up basically every object in your scene and tells you what layer they are on. So right now I have layer zero, which is probably my data from SketchUp. SketchUp likes to build on a default layer called zero. If I turn that off, you can see there is my building and my CAD is already assigned to a layer called CAD site plan and there's my CAD. So I'm going to rename this object or this layer and I'm going to call it building. So to do that, just click on it and we'll rename it. And I like to use the definitions BLDG for building. Anything under building can be under that. And you can break it out even further. If you want windows on that layer, you can name it BLDG underscore windows, etc. For the site, we don't really want to manipulate these objects. And so I'm going to freeze them. And to do that, if we open this a little further, you can see that there's this little snowflake. If you click on the snowflake, it freezes the objects on that layer, so I cannot select them. If you click it again, it unfreezes those objects. The other thing you'll notice is as I click on an object, it's auto expanding my layers. That's an option where you can click on it. If you go to display, auto expand to selection, you can uncheck it and that way it will just highlight the layer uh, without expanding it. So now if I just click on the building, it highlights the building layer. If I click on an object that's on the site plan, it highlights that without auto expanding. So for now, I'm going to freeze my site plan because I don't really want to manipulate it, but I'm just going to use it as a guide. So now everything is frozen that's within that site plan layer. So now that we have our CAD, hardscape in there, we can start creating our models. And to do that, I will create a new layer because all of my site information will be on a new layer. And to create a new layer, you can click on this plus sign up here. And we will name it site. And you'll notice that it's got this little layer that's highlighted. That means that that's the default layer that's created on. So any object that I create is going to add it onto the site layer. Even if I have this highlighted, if I create this box, you'll notice it's going to create an object under site. As soon as I created that box, see how it created this little arrow? It means I have the box under there. So, and as I create more boxes, they start popping up. You can see, there they are. It's also a nice way to select your objects. You can select your objects this way and quickly delete objects. You can select them all, just like Windows, where you can hold Shift, and multiple selects, and then you can hit delete, 
and they're all gone.